Well, we've been waiting for this moment for the last four years. And last year that we didn't get it, we were really bummed out. And we just, it was just an, uh, you can't ex I can't explain the feeling because it's like at that moment, everything you've done, it just comes down to that moment and nothing else matters. And when they started saying the qualities of the team, it, you, you were kind of optimistic, but at the same time, you didn't want to be like, already, we got it. And when they, they said our names, we just screamed. And we were, I was crying by the time by the time they said the last number, I was already in tears. When I went down, everything was just a blur. It was just so exciting that we finally get there, that after so much dedication and hard work, we finally get recognized for it. And all Arizona gets recognized for it. Well, Carl Hayden's been a force in this competition for a long time. I mean, the underwater stuff, the Lego stuff, and, all, and I mean, why is it Carl? Why is Carl Hayden uh, like, like so so superior in this? I think it's because we have passion for it. We want to let people know that we're more than just what they expect. They, we want to take it to the next level. We want our the younger students to know that they, can, they have something better out there, that there's something beyond 35 Avenue, McDowell, that there's, they, by the time they're in eighth grade, they should already know that they're gonna go to college and university. That's our main goal. We wanna change the way the culture is. We wanna change them since they're little. So by the time they get to high school, they already, they already know it's, it's just that high school, graduating from high school is mandatory. Tell me about naming your robot. Um, Virginia's dream. Um, we named the robot Virginia's dream um, because there was this girl. She went, she graduated from North High School. She was an honor student and she had a full ride scholarship, a private scholarship to go to ASU for nursing. And um, one night she went out and she made a little mistake. Her headlights and her, and her car they weren't on and she got stopped. And then they. Um, the cops started asking her for her papers and she didn't have documentation. So they sent her to jail and then they deported her. And a lot of people from our community, from our school, are in that same situation and we just did it for her. And the dream part is because we are for the Dream Act. Because there is many students out there who are just great. They're very smart and they deserve a chance to go to higher education. What, what are you going to do after graduation? I'm going to go to Arizona State University for mechanical engineering. All right. I, I need to get a picture here. Uh,